Hello again, folks, and welcome back to Let's Play Time Spinners. Or Time Spinner, rather. I'm your Game Master Darius. Last we left off, we had gone and um, just had a little chat with the Queen, Ilana. I believe I'm getting names right. I'm terrible at remembering names. I'm pretty sure it was Ilana. Yeah, was Ilana. Haha, <laughs> nailed it. Uh, <laughs> yes, I'm an idiot. Shut up. Uh, uses plasma orbs with our abilities. I never checked out the plasma orbs. Blah. Anyways, last we left off, we had uh, talked with Ilana. She's. Oh my god, that is cool. Shit. I don't know how much damage that does, but that's cool. And she had mostly seen the error of her ways, we hope. And now there's not much of the past to do except for uh, get some chicken. I don't know why it went there, but hey. But yeah, I gotta get some chicken uh, from the warbirds that exist in the royal towers. I believe it was the Royal Towers. Yeah, it was the Royal Towers. Probably from just the bigger ones. Oh my god. <laughs> I, I love this thing. It does use some of my aura. Which, I mean, considering the distance and the power it's hitting with, Reasonable, honestly. I don't think it's a, uh... It's not as good as, you know, hitting things with a massive-ass sword to me, but... Especially seeing as I can one-shot the Dragoons with a massive-ass sword. Still, really cool. Uh... Really flipping cool. At the cost of Vara, yep. Maybe there's a thing that makes it so as it costs less aura? Well, for the now... Bonk, bonk. And level ups. bonk da bonk da bonk da bonk da bonk bonk Anyways. But yeah, I know I've said it before, like, a, at least a billion times when... Looking at the story of the last episode and everything. But I really can't fault Ilana. I really can't when it comes to hold a demon summoning for all that fun shit. I can fault her for the whole destruction of an entire ass planet, turning it into a little more than uh than freaking rocks around a goddamn I only needed the one, right? All right, statuses report back. Yeah, I can fault her for tur for uh, turning an entire planet into nothing but rocks around a planet. Oh, a moon, a planet, regardless. So to that end, I hope that she doesn't, you know, proceed with the insanity. Where is everyone? I went and got the chicken, and then everyone went away. I hope that they're just checking out what's up with, uh... Eshem up here. And Eshem is fine. <gasps> Eshem is fine! I got your bird meat. Can't believe we bought it... Bought into it for so long. That you could cook this stuff? What? Oh, thanks, Linus. But no, I mean... I meant our whole system. We were pri privileged by it. We didn't see how the other half lived, and even when we heard about it, it was hard to believe it was really like that. But it is. Oh, it looks all cleaned up. Yeah, no wonder the Lashemi rebelled. No wonder they're so angry. System back home, you'd treat it as a second class citizen. I'm not supposed to care. I'm supposed to look down on you. No way. How can I see you as anything but wonderful? Hi. Hey, has Saka said anything to you about, uh, anything? <laughs> Literally just got back, man. 
Okay, so now, Chevier Alvin. I like a me dish of Chevier, braised with wine and vegetables. Man, they, they have a wide variety of foods in this universe, don't they? Nothing better than the Dragoon plate at the moment. Yeah. If I leave and come back... Everything all good? Hey, you're living. Hey there, you're looking good. You're flirting with me? Not quite my type, Linus. I wouldn't want to get between you and Sekis anyway. I mean, to say you look healthy. Still a bit weak, but I've been walking a little. Thanks largely to you. Remember that I did all the wor real work. I was wondering if you could do one more thing for me. Sure. I want to, you know, go on a real date with Sekis. No more of this bedside flirting. A real date. Good idea. Problem is, I want to get out of the camp, and well, I'm not exactly in fighting form. There's a waterfall out in the woods that's nice and relaxing. If you could help me get there? Yeah, sure. Thanks. Let me know when you're ready. Oh, it's an escort mission. How can you still support them, Harrisel? My job, my duty is to defend our people. We'll, we've stopped a genocide, weakened demonic influence. You're telling me these are bad things? Of course not, but good deeds with good with bad eh. Good deeds with bad motivations. You're questioning my integrity? No, I'm questioning Valette's. Harrisel, our nation, our home. They've done some terrible things. The social order Vor Torellis has set up privileged those with magic above all others. But I'm supposed to be ashamed of something I have no control over. No, you just can't force others to live in subjugation because of something they have no control over. Our hegem hegemony is corrupt. It's, it's awful. Just look at what Eshem had, has had to go through. Leta has done great things for our planet, our people. Maybe for some of us, not all. This is treasonous talk. Who's going to banish me, Haristol? We're already stranded here. Just, you're speaking as if Veles has no redemption. Speaking like a Leshmi, people who consorted with demons to accomplish their goals, who almost destroyed their our whole world, and who have regretted those moves. I'm not siding with them, but... I don't know, Ribida. I can't say you're entirely wrong, but I can't believe Valette is as bad as you're saying. It's done so much good. What evidence can you give me? What evidence could I possibly get? Well, that still exists now in my time, which means there will be history books, uh, data files, or whatever, and Vardigray, maybe even historical documents, if I can get into more secure areas. Maybe the Leshemi have records? Yeah, maybe. Fine, if you can show, truly show me, then I will give up on Valette once and for all, as you all have seemed to have. Aristotle, enough. Thanks, Lunas. Nothing out of you? Mm -hmm. Nothing out of you? Alright, oh, still so have to... Wait, do I have to? I'm not entirely certain what it is I have to with her. That said, I've got to get at least five more essences. Three more rings. Or not rings, necklaces. And then one ring and one more essence for the shield. Ugh. Ugh effort. That thing I totally haven't been putting into the video game already. Okay. Escort mission. Alright, let's head out. I'll follow you. Better not, like, get all slow, like, where the hell was this waterfall? Was it the one just over here? Hmm. Idea comes to mind. A good idea. I wonder if it affects anything in the water. It is effectively electricity, I think. This was a brilliant idea. Also, another pointy hat. My god, the plasma is perfect for this. That's a destructible. Here we are. Second should be here soon. Ooh, I need to catch my breath. You look nervous. Oh no, it shows. Don't worry, it's cute. I hope so. Eshin? Oh, hi Lunas. Um, 
Don't worry, I'm out of here. Hey. Hi. Stay safe, you two. Yay, they went on a date. Good for them. Oh yeah. Uh, Is that hitting it? I think it's hitting it. I need to draw something over, don't I? All right, the wind orb sucks. Was the shadow orb any good? Is this weirdness that I can't aim up? I think I have to use the blade orb. Blade, blade, not the iron. They gone. Right, so I think I gotta get rid of those. Two ice cold arrows. Wait. Ooh. All right, that's actually pretty cool. Pun not intended. Come on, a little bit lower. Hmm. Not sure I enjoy the fact that it only does like five damage, but hey. Or a blast, that wouldn't do the trick, I don't think. Maybe a bombardment? Oh no, that's more of a shotgun. Alright. See, by the sound of it, short range blast of moon shards. Kind of assumed it was something like someone did down a comment or something. If I can hold still up there. I mean, yes, but it doesn't work as I want it to. Ah! I don't know how the hell I'm supposed to get up there. I feel like I'm getting the right ideas, but I'm not executing them right. Or maybe it's just as simple as doing the plasma. Nope. It's it's got to be either some sort of an up thing or I don't know. I don't know. The plasma is really good. At least I got another drumstick. The that. All right. Gonna remove the ice skull one though. Ice skull one's still just kind of meh. Uh oh, right, the royal ring. The royal one, while it doesn't do damage directly, will make it so as my aura regenerates a lot faster, so. Alright, wasn't as terrible of a escort mission as I thought it was going to be. Now I just hope that they're not dead. Oh, okay. He's back. Well, they're back. Hey, has Seka said anything? <laughs> Wonder if Lucky Me has any good recipes. Oh, hello. Oh! Was that the last one? For Eshem? Must be the last one for Eshem. Alright, so for Remedia, Remedia, Remid, Remida, Remedy, Remedia, I need to find evidence of Valette's war crimes. I'm gonna guess that that's a lot harder done than said even with the actually wait can I part of gray metropolis where have I not been yet I gotta find the a key card so I can go into that section up there which the a key card might be I might be overthinking this Like a gas mask, which allows me to breathe toxic areas somewhat. 
Pop that. Really? Excuse me, pardon me, come through. Bonk. More aura. So weak. Alright, let's go up this way now. I am so glad that it is actually starting to utilize more of the um, time control aspects. Tee hee. More sand? Ooh. A solution. We can't go on like this, one time messenger after another, I say. The elders sit around me. I have joined their circle now. Clan Mother Undar. No, uh, nods. Lack me have increased their patrols in recent years. You're right, Sullen. We cannot do this forever. They will find the t time spinner. One of her wives, Thea, crosses her arms. We cannot give up. We need a new plan, I say. We cannot risk using the time spinner now with Lunas. We only have a few messengers left, and we can't train them fast enough. What we need is a new kind of time messenger. What do you have in mind? Undora asks. Our traditions have always been for the Time Messenger to only come back as far as necessary to keep the clan safe, so as not to distort history too much. We have no idea if time can withstand more than a small amount of change at a time, Thea says. I nod. Oh, we must take a chance. I propose we train one Time Messenger to go back further, go into the past, prevent the Lackme from ever le learning about the Time Spinner if we can, do something that will keep them from ever being a problem. That's a huge change, Thea says. It will completely change our history. We, won't, we don't even know if we will still exist. But it must be done. The Time Spinner is all that matters. And who would you propose as this new Time Messenger? Mundar asks. She already knows my answer from the glint of my eye. Ah. I suppose that would make sense. What with, uh... The dual heritage that Lunas has. And the innate ability of freaking magic. Give. I really do wish that those shields weren't as effective as they are, but. I can't believe I managed to dodge that. Healing. I'm just gonna go back my iron irons. Now you're just being rude. Level up. Oh. Ow. God damn it. Cease being so strong. Is that the second time we picked up those lab classes? Okay, so ow. I'm gonna need to figure out how the hell I'm supposed to get up there. Maybe up there too. Woo! Alright. Forward, I suppose. Although I do want to figure out how the hell I'm supposed to get up. Not there. There. I have an idea. But it's not gonna work. Nope, it works. Nope, it works. It worked. I'm a smirt. Gib. Gun orb. <laughs> An orb that imitates a standard issue Empire handgun. I'm going to defeat the Empire with the power of anime and friendship. Also, this gun I found. What is this 
game. A terrible that is not bad. It does the same damage as the plasma. Oh my god, I'm, go I'm gonna have to use this for a bit just for the he who's. Oh my god. And this gun I found, holy shit. Amadeus's Laboratory. I'm a little bit concerned. I, I'm looking into the back there and now I'm very concerned. Do you think it'll work? I'm talking about time travel here, of course it won't work. Inza seems so sure. So sure he sent one of his volunteers through and did we ever hear from them again? Ellie thinks it's almost done now. Let's just hope we're not the next volunteers. I don't like I don't like the look of that. Nope. Ow. Not approve of any of this. I don't approve of any of this. Hello. Biotechnology. New line of biotechnology war machines has proven to be quite effective. I wouldn't have wouldn't have never imagined juxtaposing simple metallic automata with literal biological organs. I'm surprised by the practicality of using enormous organic eyes as an ocular source for robots, enhanced as they are. Of course, an intentional side effect of the design is that they are so unsettling. The individual who spearheaded this new technology, Amadeus, is somewhat of an enigma to me. He claims to be of surflet, surflet but I find that claim preposterous considering the primitive level of scientific advancement of that planet. My skepticism is not shared with the new emperor, however. At least, he doesn't seem to care. Perhaps I will attempt to reverse engineer Amadeus' biotech creations. It may be that I will find my answers there. Oh goody, we're going to break into the good old HR Giger stuff. Fun. Okay, those are things I can cling to. Whoop! Well, let's not get lasered just yet. Ah. Hmm. Oh man, that's a fast drop. Kind of random, too. Damn it, hard to pick out when the hell I should try to stop the time. Okay, it doesn't... Of course it doesn't hurt me when it's already on the ground, Dar. <laughs> food synthesizer. A portable machine that creates food from raw materials. Earl Grey, tea, hot. I'll, I'll figure out the timing one of these days. And that day is now! Gib. Another berry pick me up. It's fine. Ah. Oh. I gotta do it for each side. Oh my lord! Black like those, please. W E R C E uh, R E C farewell. The wreck program war robots of extinct creatures is finally being phased out. After its successful run for over three decades, including one transplanetary war, we have decided to discard all unused units. A part of me will miss wreck, as its usage of long since dead animals as inspiration for each new model was always quite endearing to me was as if the designers were uttering a quiet apology for eradicating that animal's entire species, whether that extinction was intentional or not. Nevertheless, the new technology that we are receiving from our mysterious ally is undoubtedly far superior to any unit from the REC program, will be in speed or cost to simple lethality. 
Despite these new and exciting advances in science, a part of me will always miss the quaint little creatures from the wreck line. Ah, well, at least that does con confirm the whole... Oh yeah, why why'd they make mechanical creatures? Don't like any of this. Nope. Uh-uh. Nope. So I want that. Alright. Yeah, at least that's confirming the weirdness of the mechanical creatures that are, you know, all over the place. I love my sword. It is a good sword sword. Also, I love how I have gun, but I've seldom used gun just yet. Dang it. Ah. I think it was... yeah, too late. Come on. Just in time. More healing. I hadn't yet gone that way further through the mashers. Yeah, okay, I'll go. I mean, ow. I need more sand. At least they knew that they you need more sand in this area, so they give you this. Oh boy. Um... Dang it. How did I get up there? <laughs> Besides, the uh, relatively good timing of that thing was probably one in a million to me. Yep. Hey look, it's that another one in a million. Alright, so I gotta worry about... Smashers. Woo. Oh. Cease. All right. I don't know what's in here, but I already hate it. Hey, just errant trash. Also, I just had a thought. So these thing, all of these uh, biomechanical things, well, all these not biomechanical ones. The um, I know what words I'm trying to say. Nope, that's not the way I'm supposed to go. Cool. So all of the. Uh, I can't word at the moment. All the mechanical creatures that we've been facing can't even confirm what I was trying to say anymore. Oh, it just constantly regenerates. Okay. I don't need to necessarily worry about leaving because it's always producing Earl Grey tea hot. Okay. Ooh. Oh, pick me ups. I'm glad they did think of this. I can't even remember what I was trying to say about the mechanical animals anymore. Ah. Deep when I can't remember that. So not only did. Oh. No, I remember what I was trying to say now. Hi. Oh, I hate that. A fleshy oculus that slices through unwitting foes. I think I've just been obeyed. No, the thing I was trying to say. <laughs> so each of those mechanical 
monsters is supposed to represent something that had gone extinct at one point or another, and they were using it as a basis for their project, right? Uh, which makes me suddenly question, which one was it? This thing. So does this mean that they just modeled this thing after like a basic little little house cat? Or is there legitimately a cat sometime in the thousand years past that is that size? I mean, I kind of want to fight it regardless, but... Okay, see, on one hand, that's cool as hell. On the other hand, that's creepy as hell. I don't have a clearance. I'm gonna regret this. I'm regretting this. Experiment number 11. The subject in exhibited an enhanced, advanced growth rate, as well as the addition of, sudden, of new psychic abilities, despite the subject's parents being completely void of any talent. Although my colleagues consider this experiment to be a failure, as we've yet to achieve our true goal, I believe at least a step in the right di direction. This will serve as a springboard for my new experiment. As a side note, some of my colleagues appear to be squeamish about the links we are going for this research. I do not blame them. The process of splicing unknown organic material into an embryo of a Windarian commoner is quite a leap from most modern scientific techniques. I know I do evil, but I posit that re reaching further faster is ultimately our ethical imperative. God, I hate mad scientists sometimes. Scientific advancement beyond Amadeus, Asmodeus, yeah, Amadeus Amadeus's designs will allow us to move beyond dependency on the demons. It will bring order to the Empire. Is that not the true Lakmi way? So the demons do still eventually reach out. Grand. This is a boss fight. I hate that hate that. Hey, let me tell you how much I've come to hate the result of a clearly unethical procedure. You don't say. Well, at least, uh, at least it's not one of those things that pop up into existence. Hi. Oh good, it's pointing me right towards Amadeus's laboratory. Well, it's giving me the map to Asmodeus' laboratory. And because I was so smart, I uh, got rid of all the security. So I can go wherever the hell I please. I'm a smart individual. I'm gonna go ahead and re equip my uh, gold hammers. And call an episode here. When we return, pain is coming for me. I can already tell whether or not it's gonna be some of these weird experimentations or if it's going to be uh, Am Amadeus, who's probably done warped him himself something fierce to. No oh god, please let it die. Levels of nope. Thank you everyone so very much for watching. I hope we're all enjoying this series as much as I'm enjoying playing it. And as always, I hope to see you folks in the next video. Take care. Cheers.